I'm Lee Elliott. Welcome to my video, Rhythm Guitar Part 2. Uh, we're going to concentrate on bass runs on this video. Uh, you can play all kinds of bass runs on the guitar uh, because it is just the perfect instrument. It has these uh, four uh, big uh, bass strings and then if you go on down, of course, you can figure uh, four smaller ones for strumming and picking out little tunes. But the bass notes is what makes the guitar unique. And to utilize those in basic rhythm, uh, in the old days, back in the 30s and 40s, guitar players uh, did a lot of little bass runs and stuff and uh, kind of made the music interesting. And then, of course, they introduced the electric bass and drums to, uh, to the music and kind of drowns out the guitar. A lot of people nowadays just strummy strum. They don't even bother with the uh, bass notes, but that's not the way it started out. So I'm going to um, uh, see if I can explain to you how to use the different bass notes. Uh, you can use two note bass runs, uh, three note bass runs, four note bass runs, and then of course the famous G run that a lot of people talk about. You can learn to play that uh, using two notes or as much as seven notes, and you can play it in any chord you happen to be in. It don't have to be in G. So uh, a uh, lot to go over. We'll even uh, do little bits of a couple of three songs to give you a little idea of how it all goes together. Hope you got your guitar in tune. Hope you got a flat pick and maybe a capo. Capos are good no matter what kind of music you're playing. There's going to be some idiot that says let's do it in uh, F sharp or B flat and that's when you need a capo. Believe me. So here we go. We got your guitar in tune. Let's go to an open G chord. If you want to go to C, you can make a two note chord to C. And then of course you make the C bass note, which is what you do before you strum. You make a C note and a strum. So the bass run to G is one, two, C. backwards. G. Do it to D. And then D. Back to G. That's only two notes. You can do that during the song while you're playing and singing. It's not going to be disruptive. It's easy to do. It's just a couple of notes. Uh, the basic uh, standard three note run from chord to chord is um, uh, like this. One, two, three, and then C. And backwards it would be one, two, three, G. And to D it would be one, two, three, D. And backwards. Sounds like a, uh, uh, like a little bit like Johnny Cash if you uh, play uh, some of those runs forward and backwards like. Spots. He did it forward and backwards, and 
and it works and I found that you can incorporate it into a lot of different songs uh, here's the, the basic run that Willie did when the song uh, it's in E and when the song goes to the A chord is where he used the run and then he run it backwards to go back to E if I can remember how Willie did it play 
take that G run in any chord. Say you're playing along in A. You don't have a capo, you're just playing in A. You want to play the G run, do it right there on the A string. That was it. Same run. You could even do it in E. Same run. It's in E. And, uh, of course, you can do it in C. So, there's lots of places to do the, the G run. I use it a lot in, in the key of the D. I'm sorry. Let's come all the way up on the big string. And uh, you can also, you can use the four note run, you can use the G run, the two and three note runs, whatever's comfortable uh, for you in a particular song. That's the point I'm trying to make. You don't have to be locked into just one thing, period. Uh, let's see, let me give you a couple of demos here if I can. Um, how about uh, and just some regular rhythm and 2-4 time here.
I think that is going to cover it. And I hope you have uh, learned some tricks here. And, uh, and uh, not afraid to try to play some bass runs. The best thing I can tell you to do is get some old records of uh, back uh, before the music. See, it, it got that loud bass and drums and everything up front. And all the music uh, in the uh, in the uh, uh, early and middle 60s. So if you go back to the 50s and 40s, and you get a country record or any kind of record, you will hear the guitar player playing those bass notes. And that's what's changed in music nowadays. Hardly anybody does it except the bluegrass uh, guitar players. The guitar uh, player in a bluegrass band has his capo and he knows to play his bass notes and uh, here, here's a let me give you a sample here here's a bluegrass song and I'll throw a couple of uh, uh, bass runs I'll throw it I'll go to a to a G to a G7 I'll go C and I'll even throw in an E minor and uh, and G and back to G and end it with a big uh, a Lester Flat G run, and that'll take care of the lesson if I get through this. <laughs> and I appreciate you watching the video. Hope you've learned something. There's more pretty girls than Thank you very much.